felt pianos. <laughs> you know we've got a bunch of them. Especially over the past couple of years, we've had felted grands, felted uprights, just so many different types of felted pianos. And I got to thinking, why? Why is the felt piano so, um, so popular? Or what makes it so different? I feel like it's something to do with the tone and the felt, the way the felt just drops between the hammers and the strings. It just kind of um, is like a barrier between the harshness of that hammer just hitting the string. You know, it's very delicate. It's kind of hard to explain. But one thing felt pianos allow you to do is to go on these very emotional journeys sometimes. Sometimes the felt piano can be very introspective and very emotional. It takes you into some place very different than a lot of pianos can take you. And so with all that in mind, let me introduce you to the latest uh, piano from Steinberg for Hallion, Hallion Sonic and the free Hallion Sonic SE player. Verve. Yeah. Okay, so you can see I have this open in Hallion Sonic 3. And if you use any version of Hallion, Hallion, Hallion Sonic, or even the free Hallion Sonic SE player, this should all look very familiar to you. very hard to stop playing this, I tell you for real. But let's um, drop down the content browser and we can look and see all of the titles that are here. And there is Verve. So let's click on that. And I'm just going to load the Pure Felt Piano. So that's just a good place to start. And as we go to the edit, you'll see you've got three main sections. Here we go again. You know, you know, it just brings it out of you. So you've got piano, texture, and effects. So with the piano, they have 12 dynamic layers and also the sustained layers and adaptive release samples, which I think is really interesting because according to how hard you hit the key, the velocity, uh, it's going to correspond with a... A release sample that is complementary to that velocity. So it just really gives a really nice response. And then the texture, you have over 60 textures here that uh, complement this type of piano. And then of course we've got, you know, all kinds of really cool effects, delay uh, for the piano, delay in the texture section, and then just an overall reverb. So let's just kind of play with this. Um... And you'll see the distance here. This uh, will adjust two different pairs of microphones. So here we go. Let me just uh, let me just pull it all the way over to zero and let's hear that. Okay, now let's go the other direction. And you can hear that kind of subtly shift over.
Very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in through some of the presets. Okay, so one of the things that they that uh, Sebastian always does with the pianos that he's involved in, he gives us these chord pads down at the bottom here. Now, I'm going to change the screen a little bit. I'm going to go to their performance. Um, and, and I've got the chord pads here, but I'm going to grab my trusty um, nano key. And sometimes when I'm uh, doing uh, libraries that have key switches or extended types of keys uh, or stuff like this with the chord pads, I'll assign these to, uh, to some of these keys down here. It just gives you a really fast way to do this, uh, to have an auxiliary keyboard real quick. So what I did, I went ahead and MIDI learned uh, the, the key. So you just right click and then learn trigger note, and then you hit the note and that'll assign it. And this is velocity, the pads are velocity sensitive. And then, so what I did, I went ahead and saved this mapping to pure felt chords. So now you'll see. So watch this, this is so fun. I mean, it's just so interesting. So the thing is, those progressions give you some starting points. They give you some starting points, and uh, it just kind of kickstarts uh, creativity a lot of times. So it's a really cool resource to have. Okay, so let's go exploring. And I like to just start at the uh, at the top of the list. And we're not going to run through all of these, or we'd be here all day. Uh, so let's just go to an introverted piano. And this is still. Let's take a listen to what the effects are doing. So we've just got a little reverb going on here. But listen to that. Listen to how cool that is. And you can shape the color. So you can make it brighter, or you can darken it some. Man, analog string machine. Okay, so now we've got the piano and texture. So we've got an analog string pad. So look at this. Yeah, you 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 open up the different um, textures that are available. And it's just like, there, there you go. All of these cool different uh, textures. So here we go. And the balance, adjust the blend between the piano and the texture. The variation just kind of animates that texture a little bit. And then the filter. You hear that? And it also responds to velocity as well. Very 
nice. Very nice, rich textures here. Okay, back and forth. Little ping pong delay. Really nice. And let's see what texture we've got. Yeah, tuned metal. Let's just switch uh, just that balance and uh, just hear what the texture's doing. Yeah. Just to add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of, um, you know, a little metallic attack on there. So, uh, and then the effects, we've got uh, like a ping pong delay. And of course, reverb and the and the delays only on the piano, so that's kind of cool. But you've got different delays for the piano and the texture, and that just makes it very nice. Becoming rich. Yeah. Yeah. Light squares. And the mod wheel just adjust some of the, the quality of the sound. Very nice. Okay, let's keep going. Blue ice. And watch, we'll, we'll just go through all these. Now listen how nice that is. Let's go into A. love sound that has movement and layers to it and so that's what we're hearing here uh, the piano delay and then that blue ice yeah and um, let's see I just want to I like hearing the textures kind of like by themselves sometimes and then the variation yeah it just adds a little bit of modulation to that And it's moving and evolving and just a lot of fun. Okay. Bright sunbeam. I love what the effects are doing here. And you got analog strings uh, too here. So you've got really cool things going on. Broken clouds. It's kind of spacey. Yeah, you never know. All of these textures, all of these colors, they they come into play uh, when you least expect it. When you when you just are working on something, or you're going through patches and you hear something and it just like grabs you, uh, and it takes you on a journey. It takes you into a, a musical universe or, or a something, a soundscape, something. 
you just build on that. Listen to that. Chill breath is what we're listening to here. Yeah, breathy awes. Listen how that responds dynamically. And how it's moving, it's not just static. Let's see what we're doing with the effects. Yeah, so we've got a cross delay and then the concert hall. Man, beautiful. Okay. Let's just go through these. Dreams of the future. A lot of times I'll go through the patch lists and things when we're playing through these, and it's like a little light will shine on a title, uh, and then that's where we're, that's where we're going to go. So dreams of the future. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, learn these pads here these chord pads and I'll just walk you through the process. So we're going to right click and you'll learn trigger note. And let's just go up the scale here. Learn trigger note, boom. And uh, there we go. Yeah, each time you can do that. And then if you've got the mapping saved, so this is called Dreams of the Future. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as uh, dreams of the future <laughs> chords so i'll know what that is and then now when we take this little drop down it'll bring it up so um, let's see dreams of the future chords here we go Yeah, so you know, you gotta you gotta just get used to the progressions and stuff. That's interesting. So that's some more fun with the chord, the chord pads. Very cool. Okay. Oh, well, dungeon that just kind of jumps out. Okay. Dungeon is the name of the, of the texture. Oh, listen to that. It's like you had a fire breathing dragon in there. Cinematic, textural, 
you don't know what's uh, what's going to come around the corner. So okay, so this is this is a little different. No texture here. Well, what a difference. So it sounds like a grand, it just sounds like. Yeah, ooh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, here, uh, elevation. Yeah, this is kind of rich. And of course, elevation is the name of the texture. So it does feel like it's your way up. Just full of so many different colors. Ethereal plane. And let's see. Yep, ethereal plane is the name of the texture as well. So I love being able to hear the textures. Okay, I'm gonna load that again um, because I wanna hear it together and then we'll, we can listen to. Um... Very subtle underneath. It's just those nice little extra harmonics and extra things going on. Man, just so many beautiful things going on here. Extraterrestrial intelligence. It's like I I know we can't go through all of them, but it's like I see one. I want to try it. Um songwriting fuel right here you can get lost in some of the the sounds just encourage um encourage playing and production and writing it, it all is uh tied in together sounds inspire and then it just you play something and then it just it just kind of snowballs far off galaxy
beautiful, beautiful. And, and listen, listen to how that, that texture layer is just wrapping around the sound. It kind of just wraps around the piano and just supports it in a really unique way. Very nice. Okay. Glassy clouds. Not gassy clouds. Ga uh, glassy. <laughs> glassy. And let's listen to, uh, yeah, glassy clouds is the texture. A lot of bells, a lot of really nice high digital textures. And then it just it just wraps around the piano. Very nice. Yeah, so now you don't have delay on the piano, but you have it on the texture, and then you have the shimmer verb. <laughs> the shimmer verbs are a lot of fun just to add a really nice, uh, just a very different type of reverb. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. In the gloaming. You didn't know I can beatbox. <laughs> so here we go. Let's keep going. Oh man, impressive string section. Let's take a listen to that. Orchestral strings. So yeah, you've got some, let's, let's listen to that. over so we can kind of hear the strings. Really nice texture, actually. So the attack and the mod wheel comes into play with all of these, adjusting the balance of the texture or 
filtering, it does something. It does something with it. Yeah, you can hear how that kind of helps push it in, push it through a little bit better. Really nice, really nice. Okay, so let's go on down near the end. Journey through the universe. And the mod wheel just kind of helps give you some variation. Variation just affects the modulation of that texture and the filtering. And you can MIDI learn uh, the controls that you can just put them put them on your controller and automate those if you want. So here we go. Yeah, look at this. Look at all of the beautiful presets that we've got here. And let's go to uh, Sweet Dreams. Wow. Dream Pulse is the uh, texture. Got a nice cross delay going on with this. You also have adjustments for you know the pedal noises and key noises, all the all the different things you can do. The resonance, sympathetic resonance. Unobtrusive. And texture is unobtrusive. <laughs> and let's just hear the texture. Nice synthy pad. So when it's laid around, wrapped around the piano, it's just nice and subtle. It just lays back in there. Okay, let's do one more. Vibe check, okay. Okay, let's see. Good vibes, so it sounds like it's a like a vibraphone. Yeah. But when you superimpose the attack of the vibraphone, the vibraphone over the piano, it just gives you a nice.
so let's just go back to the pure felt. The pure felt piano. And yeah, very interesting journey with Verve. And I want to thank Steinberg for allowing me to take these beautiful journeys with these wonderful instruments. You know, it's just amazing how, you know, I, I'm saying, okay, another felt piano. Yeah, but it's got its own something about it. It's got a different personality. It's just like, you know, each library, each piano, each title has its own personality. And that's why we need, sometimes you need multiple pianos because one may have something that another library doesn't have. And so it's just so interesting to discover all that's available. So once again, thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again on another beautiful adventure. See you soon.